frames. Oh, why is it so I don't know. Okay, so let's say we have our text file, text file txt that has hello in there. All right, so we want to send it to an M program that's gonna append and give us M out txt that's gonna have hello world world. Okay, then we want to take our M out txt send it to our program and we're gonna have hello world world and we're gonna have our out that txt and r is just gonna put everything in capital hello world okay okay so how can we do all in one step so we can do it with the help of pipes we can take our txt, text txt that has hello, hello. Through the standard input output, we can send it to M program. M program is gonna give us hello world, and we do it all in the completely other program C. That's where we write in our code. Okay, and we can send it to uh, pipe okay here's our beautiful pipe it's giant it's giant pipe okay never mind how do you make it slower smaller uh, okay well one end is still pretty big oh uh, okay okay so this our reasonable size pipe okay so we send it through the pipe and we get our hello world on this and we executing our R program and our program is gonna give us C output right txt remember because we are doing it all in C so all in one step um, and we don't have to compile M and R separately we just need to compile C and magic happens to the pipes how can we make that happen let me just move this aside so it doesn't bother us okay let me move this a little bit more here okay first step first step first step create the pipe we're creating the pipe pipe has two ends pipe M R, so it's gonna have two integers, and so it has a read, uh, right end, which is one, and it has a read end, which is zero. Okay, and I mean I call the pipe pipe M R, but this is our description table for our C program. Okay, so this is MR0 of our array, right? MR1. Okay, and okay, so this is our pipe. Well, why is it not blue anymore? Okay, this is our beautiful pipe, and what we need to do is we need to connect the ends. We are reading here, okay, and we are writing here. Okay, so we also need to check if if the pipe was creating pipe was created successfully pipe that's how we create the pipe pipe um, r minus one okay so we check okay second step and i already have forks prepared yeah you guessed it right we need to fork our c description table okay okay we take it and we just copy it so that's what work does okay there you go okay let me move it but we're not gonna call it we're not gonna call it C we gonna call it 
uh, I think I'll call it we're gonna call it M because this is where we going to execute our M program and I want to connect the ends of the pipe okay all right this and um, just a short note this may be counterintuitive but the pipe goes from right to read left to right okay okay so we need to go to a child child of the pipe and how do we do it by if um, oh I completely forgot to create a child okay so this would be our second step step PIDT and we call the child M P I D and we just fork. Okay, that's how we do it. Okay, and then we go to the child if M P I D equals equals zero. So that's how we go to the child because child returns zero and the parent returns P I D number. And then we have three steps here A, B, C, and I call them C D E. Okay. So first step A C close the end of the pipe. The pipe and pipe. And we don't need we don't need don't need. Um okay. So it'll be easy close. Uh, pipe. Here's our pipe. Uh, pipe MR and let's look at the picture so we're working with this end of the pipe that means that we don't need this end okay so we're closing the read and read under the pipe okay B B step is D step D dupe dupe to redirect ready Correct. Okay. Okay. Redirect dupe two. What are we redirecting pipe? M R. So this is our old old file descriptor and S T D out. Okay, and this is new file descriptor. Okay. Old, new, okay. Let's look at the picture. What do we need to put in here? Well, it's obviously the opposite of the end that we closed, right? It's gonna be our right end, right end. Okay. Um, and let's try to do that on the picture. We taking our standard output and we redirecting it to our pipe so we can see here that the pipe was reading here writing here but now it's gonna take from the standard output and closing this part so this no longer works we close the read end of the pipe okay this no longer works let me raise this okay because we now are ready to execute a b c c4 e execute execute our m program and there are different syscalls that you can use execute okay i'll use this one for okay i'm just not gonna write it out all right, so now we are ready to go to our parent, back to parent, okay. Go to else. Let's come back here. And we are ready for the third step. Use orange. Third step, fork. I guess the right, we have two forks, fork. Third step, step. So now we need to fork PID T 
for our program PID fork for our program to execute. Okay, I can just steal this really quick. Copy and I just dump and since I was using orange, how about we use orange here? Okay. So we forked our description table here and we call this one R and let's just connect the pipe ends, right? So here's white and here's weed. Okay. Okay, so now we are ready to go to the child. We're ready to go to the child. Child and to save us some time, I'm just gonna oop, copy and just put it all put it all in here, and we can modify the steps. Can we just? It's a different color. Okay, so our first step: close the end of the pipe that we don't need. Okay, I'm gonna have a headache now. Changing the, changing the color. Okay, so let's look at the picture. Which end we don't need? We are working with this one with the R program, right? So we can close right, right end of the pipe. Okay, right, right. Am I right? Okay. Now we are ready to redirect. Okay, let's see, and we need to change. What do we need to change? We had an output here, but now we're gonna have an input. And what end do we need to change? Well, we close the right end, so we need to now change the read end, okay? Let me see how does it look on the picture. Okay, um, let's find our pipe read and read is is this one? Huh? Read is this? Okay, so we can see it was reading here. We don't want that anymore. We want it to go to the standard input. Okay, I was using blue. Let me be consistent. Let's go to standard input. Okay, and we are almost done. So what other steps do we need to do? Let's go to oops, else. Let's go to a parent now. Parent and all we need to do here is we need to close both pipes, close both ends of the pipe, the pipe, okay, close pipe, MR, read, okay, and we do the same with write. And then we need to wait for kids to finish. Uh, okay, wait. PID. Um, and we had M, PID, and there are additional arguments here. I'm gonna put them, and we had R, PID. Okay. Okay, um, and on the picture, let's see, when we close in the pipe, we close in this sense, close in this sense, and then we're waiting for the children. And I'm gonna clean up our table here. Right? So it'll be easier to, okay, we're not using this one.
MR. Did I forget to close this one? Close right end. Yeah, I forgot to mark this one. We were closing the right end here. Okay, we don't need this one. We don't need this one. This one. What other ends do you close? Here you go. Okay, so now you can clearly see the flow from the C program to M output to the pipe and then to the standard input of the R. And that's how we get our picture here. Okay, I hope it helps.